Hi everyone, thanks for stopping in. I have an Ipsy Glam Bag here to share with you today. So let's take everything out of the bag and get rid of that. These bags are so cute this month. It's basically like an abstract floral, really nice. I love the, you know, the pink pole. It's really cute. It seems like a nice, like decent bag. And it is, the theme is Let Yourself Bloom. This is $13 a month. Um, I pay tax. There's a $1.99 handling fee. Comes out to about $16. We get to customize one of the items and it is um, five deluxe samples. Sometimes you get a full size. This happens to me every once in a while. Blank card. So we're just gonna wing it, open up and see what we have. I have a little peek into there. I see something right off the top. From Elemis, the Pro Collagen Rose Cleansing Balm. Right there. This is definitely a sample because Elemis has much bigger products than this. Mm. If you don't like rose, you're not going to like this, but that's nice. It's not real heavy scented, but enough that it might bug you if you don't like the scent. Very nice. Definitely a balm. Happy to have that. I know I don't have that. I wonder if that's newer. Uh, next, Jasmine Beauty Illuminating Highlighter. I think I did get this in my one of my PR bags. This one is jazzy, so this is different than the one. I think, what did I get? Like, Oh Mom or something like that. I did get a different shade in my PR box. So let's see what this is. This is jazzy. Okay, so this is a little like pinker. Let's see if I can open this. Right there. I'm um, not really pink. That's the shade. I'm not going to touch this one. I did swatch the other one. I might not. I might share one. I don't need to keep all these highlighters. That's really pretty though. I like that. I think that's a sample too. And I know this is a sample from Ciate London. This is Velvet Skin Cream Blush. That's nice. What is you? Um, really small. Cheeky is the shade. Let me use this to help me open. Oreo. No, honey. Oh, look how tiny this is. Oof, can't even hold it. Real tiny, low blush. Let's see. This is in, what did I say? Cheeky? And that is definitely, ooh. I'll put a little bit on. That is pink. Right there. That is some pink, like Barbie pink. That is great. Do you blend out nice? Yeah, it blends out really nice to like a nice soft, nice soft pink that I think most of us could probably wear. That's really pretty. I do like that. But I do believe that is a sample. And then the last two I'm just going to take out. And then I'll put the bag back there. One is from Aceology Brightening Treatment Mask. This is definitely a sample. Probably share this. I'm not a fan of like masks like that. And then I have something here wrapped up. Yeah, it's a shame. And this is from Coors or Corez Velvet Santorini Grape Velvet Skin Drink. Um, oosh, it's like replenish, retexture. What are you? Oh, like a serum, right here. That's interesting. Velvet skin drink is, is this here. Oh, that's a lot. We'll just put a tiny drop. Uh, I'll put it on my arm. Let's see. And just smooth that in. That's nice. Definitely um, a little oil, but it says it's a serum. Um, The scent, there is a scent. It's very light and like refreshing. Nothing like... And that is absorbed. Don't mind the marks on my arm. I whacked my car door and it got me twice. And I'm like, no, it's going to take like a week for that to heal. I mark very easily. Like I am forever bruised on that bone on your wrist. I bang it all the time. And it the bruise just never goes away because it's always there. Wow, that feels nice. I would use that for hand oil, but I won't. But very nice scent. I'm happy to try this. And I think this is also a sample because... Their products are usually much bigger, and that came wrapped in like a little bubble, which is nice. No full-size products, which I'm okay with, 
Um, I love the Elemis. This is nice. I, surprisingly, this is really pretty. Can you guys see that on my hand? I hope so. I'm looking far enough away. It came out like bright Barbie doll pink, but then when you blend it in, it's really a pretty pink. I like that, and I'm excited for this. Why not? And that feels great. Even if I didn't use it on my face and I used it on my hands. Imagine how nice your hands would feel. That feels really nice on my arm. I'll probably share this and maybe the highlighter. I'll have to look. I think I have quite a few highlighters in that like shade tone, so I might share that. But overall, I think a fairly decent glam bag from Ipsy. Um, let me know. This is from my main account that's tied with my PR, by the way. Um, so let me know your thoughts. Um, what do you think about this? Yeah, a little disappointed that nothing is full size. I still think they need to give us one full size product in every glam bag because they're having, I think they're going to have to start competing with some of these other ones out there. I'm sorry for the price and they're offering full size or giving us top brands like Macy's was all Sunday Riley, even though they're all samples, but a high end brand. These aren't really high-end brands. I mean, Chorus is popular. Elemis, you know, I don't wouldn't consider either one of them drugstore, but they're not um, high-end. And, you know, these are still all samples, and Macy's was all samples, but, yeah, Macy's is cheaper. Okay, just a little food for thought. Plus, we have this really great bag, which I'm always excited for. So now I'll have three of these. So when you put your product in, you can see the depth. So it's a decent-sized bag. Beautiful inside, pink. I love these. Great to use um, travel. Even if you put uh, charging cords, you could put hair clips or ponytail holders or pins or anything. You could put anything in these bags. They work wonderfully. And, uh, you know, if TSA has to open your bag, they're like unzipping going, oh, it's just all hair clips and ponytail holders. They're not touching your stuff which I don't like. That's why a lot of times I put stuff in packing cubes. This way they can just open. They're not rummaging through. And I've never had TSA open my bag though. So, um, but let me know your thoughts on this. I don't think it's too bad. I'm not unhappy with it. So that's always a bonus. And uh, hopefully my month, my card next month, well, there's that, will be uh, printed instead of blank. And they used to happen to me all the time. Uh, and that's the first time it's happened in a long time, but you know, what can you do? You wing it, you know the products, you know what they are. Um, and I know these are all samples. None of these are full size. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Bye for now.